friends, it's Lisa Van Gemmer, and I'm here to share with you how to create a theme for your classroom in PowerPoint so that every time you go to create a document in PowerPoint, it will look like you want it to out of the gate. This will save you so much time. We're going to be looking at three specific things, colors, fonts, and effects. All right. So first colors, when we're working in PowerPoint, let's say I'm going to insert a text box and, um, I start typing here. Um, if I want to change the color of this, the colors that are offered are here in this family and I can change them in the design tab by choosing here in variance. I can choose, um, in the colors, a different color that I want. And I have a whole separate video on this, but what I want to show you now is that you can actually customize these colors. So, PowerPoint gives you four different main options for text and background, and then six accent colors, and then a hyperlink color for non followed hyperlinks, and then one for followed hyperlinks. And you can change any or all of those colors so that when you go to type, this is the one that it will default to. Um, and then for different colors it will use these things. So how do you know what colors to choose? Well, if you already have a color family that you like, obviously you just use those. But if you don't, let me show you a few of my favorite places. So the first place I'll show is a website called coolers.co. And in this one, you can find or make palettes. You can explore trending palettes. So if you're just looking for ideas for colors that you might want to use, you can just scroll through here. But let's say that you have a color and you know, I know I want something in the turquoise family, right? Then you can just click that and you can scroll through and you'd be like, oh, you know what? I like these colors. I like this one. So then you can um, click there, I'm not sign into my thing. I can just click on it and I can copy that hex. So I copied that hex. I can go back to PowerPoint and then under my colors, customize colors, Instead of black, I choose more colors, custom, and I paste in that hex code I want. And now every time I go to type, it will by default make it that color. So that process of changing it by clicking in the variance, colors, customize colors, and then pasting in what I want in more colors, custom, right here, I put in the hex code. I can do that. I can repeat that for any or all of those colors. You can leave any of them the same or change any that you want. Let me show you a couple other places that they're fun to find. The uh, Adobe has this one that's kind of fun. So you can choose analogous, which is all colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. You can choose monochromatic, which will be different variations of a similar color triad, which is like three, and you can spin these things around. Um, you can start spinning this around and bringing it in closer and farther away. You can, you know, it's a rabbit hole. You can spend a lot of time here. You can do all kinds of variations here. I find that compound gives me nice, um, wide variation in palette. And then you can come here and you can just click and copy that hex code and paste it in to PowerPoint. So you can play around at the Adobe site, however you want. You can also choose custom and you can just start dragging these wherever you want and build, build your own palette. All right. The third site is color lovers and color lovers is so fun. It lets you search palettes. You can search by, let's say teal. I search teal and it will pull up all of the palettes that were classified as having a teal in them. You can even paste in, um, if you know a hex color that you like, like, let's say, Oh, um, I like that one color, but I don't like all the colors. Then I can come down here and see what was that color. Okay. I can just grab that hex and I can either just go use that in PowerPoint or I can paste it here and I can search for other palettes that people have created that had that hex in them. And unfortunately I didn't get any, but 
I can browse these palettes. Uh, they have over a million of them and you can browse them. <laughs> Let me be a cautionary tale all day long. All right. The fourth site and the last site that I'll show you related to color is Tin Eye Labs. So with Tin Eye, you can do a couple of different things. They actually have a search engine here where you can search for images that have a certain color. So let's say you know that that's your color. You can search for images in the Creative Commons that have that color in them, which is kind of cool. But what you can also do is extract colors. So assume that you have a picture that you know. So let me, I, I should have prepared this ahead of time because I don't even know what I'm going to do here. Let me just grab this, this picture here. Oh, you know what? This one has a lot of colors in it. Okay. So this was a, a thumbnail that I did. And so what it's done is it's looked at the, um, picture and it's pulled out all of these different colors and given me the hex. So if you have a picture that you know you like the colors of it, you can just upload it into Tin Eye Labs and then you can grab the hex right out of there and you can make the colors match. So again, however you find your colors, you're going to, in the design tab, in variants, colors, customize colors, choose whichever one you want to change, choose more colors, custom, and then paste in your hex or just choose one that they have. All right. So now you've done the colors. Next, we're going to change the fonts. So in the view tab, we're going to click the slide master. Once we're in slide master view, which is going to look like this, now we're going to select fonts and then scroll all the way down, customize fonts. And for my heading font, instead of Calibri, I'm going to choose McLaren. And for the body font, instead of Calibri, I'm going to choose um, KG, always a good time. And I'm going to name this. So I'm going to name this basic classroom. Now, let's say you use, you want different fonts for different things that you're doing. Like sometimes you're making printables or worksheets, or sometimes you're actually making slide decks. You might want to call it um, printable fonts or PowerPoint fonts, whatever you want. You name it and click save. There you go. You have selected the fonts that you want to use. Next, last thing to make our theme perfect is to choose a set of theme effects. Now theme effects are things like shadows, reflections, lines, and fills. And you can't select your own, but you can choose from a set of them. So still in slide master, still in slide master, I'm going to select choose effects. So notice that these things we did were all in a row, colors, fonts, effects. For effects, you can choose any of the ones that you want. And so you can like click on them to see like, what do they look like? Branded edge, frosted glass. So then when you put in a shape, it'll automatically look like that. Grunge texture, glow edge, smoky. If you know that you always want your shapes to have a top shadow, or you know that you always want them to have an inset bevel or a riblet, like let's say I know that I want it to be glossy. I'm going to click that one. Okay, now I want to change those. I want to save those changes that I made. I've changed the colors. I've changed the font. I've changed the effects and I want to save it. So still in this slide master view, you are going to go here to where it says themes. See that where it says themes and I'm going to click save current theme. In the file name box, I can call this basic classroom save. All right. So now if I open up a new PowerPoint and I go to the design tab, I can actually see that I, you can see I've created some before. This is the one we just did. It'll be right here waiting for you. And you will be able to see the custom ones that you've created here. So I've created this and now watch what happens. I'm going to insert, um, I'm going to insert a shape 
and it's going to have a certain look to it because of what I've done. And my font is going to look the color that I set and it's going to be the actual font that I set because I'm using that theme that I created. So if you take five minutes to set this up for yourself one time, it will save you hours and hours as you work on it. And you don't even have to do the effects. If you do the colors and the fonts, it will just save you so much time, especially if you do a couple of different kinds of things. Like if you do do presentations and you do do printables, being able to have a set of fonts and a set of colors that you know are your go-to are is going to be a very huge time saver for you. So I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions, put them in the, in the comments below.